Practice set 15, problem number 1, page 52. Find the amounts you will have to pay for the first, second, and third months for this loan if you use the full extra principal payment strategy. Also find the amount of interest saved by using this strategy. So this is part of an amortization schedule showing the payments for an amount of $45,000 borrowed at an interest rate of 9%, length of the loan 15 years, and a monthly payment of $456.42. So the amount to pay for the first month, always you need to be paying your monthly payment, $456.42, but we're going to use the full extra principal strategy to add on an additional principal. Well, your first monthly payment takes care of the obligation of the first payment. The next full extra principal payment that we're going to include with our first payment comes from line two, $119.91, which adds up to $576.82. Payment. What that does is allows us to skip or not be charged the interest rate because this principal was paid a month early. The interest rate on line two was never actually calculated. The second month that we go to make a payment for this loan is actually here on line three. So when a monthly payment is made, for the second month, $456.42 were on line three, and if we use the full extra principal payment strategy, that next full principal comes from line four. We will add an additional $121.62 onto our payment for a total of $578.04. We're paying an additional amount, but the good news is the interest associated with that extra principal is never calculated because this beginning balance never sat there for the next month. The third month rolls around, and this time, because we paid the principal extra in our second payment from line four, our third month Monthly payment comes from line five. We're taking care of all the obligation in line five with the regular $456.42 payment. We'll do the full extra principal strategy again. We're going to add $123.45 onto our regular monthly payment. So we will be paying $579.87. And same as with the last ones, because this principal was paid a month early, this beginning balance did not sit there for a month, this interest was never calculated or charged to our account. So for the last question, what is the amount of interest saved up to this point? It will be the interest in line two, line four, and line six. If we add those together, we have saved $1,004.38 interest charge against us because we paid those extra principal payments during the first three months of this loan.